Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I think I'm doing a mini marathon, right? I'm gonna do a mini marathon and then I'm going to vacuum and clean and stuff like that, like dust. Because I don't want to do it tomorrow. And I didn't want to do it earlier today, but I wanted to enjoy the day, so I did. But now I want to do it because I don't want to do it tomorrow. But it is a lot. I just need to actually dust my new bathroom, guys, because my new bathroom is complete. Actually, I need to finish my, I started a TikTok video last week with the old bathroom, and then I just need to go back and finish it with the new, and then I think, I guess you could let me upload it. I'll upload it if I can. If not, it'll definitely be on my Instagram. If you follow me on my Instagram, you already see my bathroom, the old and the new. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. It was in my stories, guys. What are we talking about here today, Spirit? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Brown Greetings, Blessings, Greetings, Blessings, Card Spirit. Help me deliver a message for someone in the collective spirit. Guys, pick a card, any card, right? Pick a card, any card. Pick a card, any card. Did I pick your card? Dating. Dating. You're probably dating somebody or somebody wants to date you. Somebody's thinking about dating you. know how this happened wow and you and this person you're gonna have a really good connection you and this person whoever it is you could be dating with them right now you may be going out on a date tonight spirit said this connection is going to be amazing this connection is going to be amazing divine feminine here you are so whoever you're connecting with they see who you are they see you as this divine feminine luminosity they see you just like you just you just shine like you just shine from within you like you illuminate you just they see you as different you shine bright like a diamond shine bright like a diamond so you're dating someone who sees you already as a divine feminine you the highest of the high right they see you as a shit they see you just shining and this person love you. They love you. So you're dating someone right now and you're connecting with someone right now, guys. And they see you as a divine feminine. And if you're not dating someone right now, you soon will be. And this connection is going to be beautiful, guys. Look at this connection. It's going to be a beautiful connection. This person is going to come in old school. Check it out. They're going to come in old school. With roses and shit. You're going to be on the balcony. The balcony, right? He's going to say, my lady, my lady. He sees you as a divine feminine. You walk around with the titty out. He know who you are. And then you shine when you get dressed up. You just illuminate. You just blossom. And that's how he sees you. And it's like you just do something with him. It's like you just, whoo. You make his whole body glow. Look at his heart, guys. This is love. Somebody's in love with you. They said it on my table. Oh, oh, somebody's love you. All right, guys. I'm not going to pull out the karmic tales on you now. But I am going to pull out. Let me get a deck, actually. I'm going to do some romance angels. Because somebody loving on you, and when they loving on you guys, we have, we have to go with it. Do not, you go with it when they loving on you. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm digging. I just be having some, you know. All right, and on the bottom of this deck, guys, is eight of wands. That means this person is gonna move in fast. Whoever it is, so Spirit said you're gonna you're gonna date this person. You're gonna have a really good connection, guys. They see you. As a divine feminine, like you are worthy. You illuminate love. You just shine. You just shine. You give love to others, and they believe this is love. This is gonna be a good connection, guys. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Let's clarify with the romance angels. The romance oracle angels. Ooh, boop, 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 boop. So there's a codependency somewhere, guys. They said there are some addictions somewhere that's affecting this romantic connection. So if you don't have any addictions, your person do. They could be codependent on something else. 
but I'll get to it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Sometimes codependency could be anything. It could be people. It could be working too much. It could be all of that, right? It could be money. Stay optimistic, the Holy Spirit said, about your love life. Positive thinking will bring you your romance, guys, okay? So, the codependency may not be what, what we think it is, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. It may not be bad. It may be something else. Maybe they like to eat chocolates at 2 in the morning. They don't want you to know that, right? Maybe they like to work out at 4 a.m., right? For three hours straight. Like, we don't know what their addiction is, right? It could be just something weird. Some weird shit that they do. That they know they need to get rid of. Spirit said, this one is worth waiting for, guys. Divine timing is at work in your love life. You want to divide them and you probably calling it the shots here. You're probably manifesting this. We don't even know it. Or they're manifesting you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Anything else, Spirit? Yes. This could be the one, guys. You already wrapped them up. Blah, 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 blah. You've already wrapped the romantic partner you seek. Guys, this could be the one. All of these cards are just loving one another. They just like, they're dating. The cards are dating. Y'all see it? The cards are in love. This is beautiful. Claim it, guys, if you want it. Very soon, Spirit said, you better decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you now. You better stop playing. Who's that knocking at my window now? Nobody knows. Spirit said, you better stop playing. See how this person feels about you deeply. Alright guys, this is Sex in the City. Let's get some Sex in the City and then I'll put some tarot on this. But Spirit said you're going to date this person. If you're not already, you will be. And the next person that you date, guys, you're going to have a really good connection. They see you already as a Divine Feminine. They already put you at the top of the top, right? Like you the cream of the crop. Like you the Divine Feminine. You the best of the best. They see you. They already see you as a goat, right? They see you shine. You just shine. It. And even though you're at the top, you still bend down and you give to others, right? So this person is falling in love. There could be some codependency somewhere in this relationship, guys. But Spirit said, you know, be optimistic about this because we don't know what that codependency is. It doesn't have to necessarily be a person. It could just be some old freaky shit that they don't want you to know. Maybe they like putting their sneakers on and off for two hours straight. Like they put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on. And they don't want nobody to know about that bullshit. Who knows, right? Whatever. Spirit says stay optimistic, guys, right? This one here is worth waiting for. This could be the one, guys. And this could happen very soon. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell us more. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, drown out that music, Spirit, so I don't get in trouble. Guys, this could involve an engagement dinner somewhere down the line. This is your future with this person. It can involve an engagement dinner. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else? This could be the one. Stay optimistic about your love life. This could be dreams coming true, guys. They're at Disney, at the castle. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, I guess it's Disney. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. They believe that this would be their dream coming true, guys. They see you. They want to have a dinner for two with just you and this person. Anything else, Jared? I want to take this walk on the beach with you. I want to go to the beach. Anything else, spirit? Okay, last card. This person is going to tell you a lot of sweet nothings. Give you sweet nothing. Say sweet nothing. All that stuff. They're going to love you. Love you, love you, and love you some more. All right, let's put some tarot on this. So they see you as a divine feminine. And they believe with you this could be their dreams coming true, guys. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This is the Cheryl Marchetti deck. Cheryl deck, guys. Which I absolutely love.
me do this a few more times, Spirit says. And Spirit's going to give me some clarity. And then I'm going to give it to you. So you're, you're dating this person. You, you're probably currently dating this person. Maybe it's nothing serious or it will be. This, is, this could be something serious. This could be the one, guys. Definitely worth waiting for. Very soon. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. We're not going to take it, Spirit. Not yet. I'm going to be ready, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. It's grounded, Spirit. Tell us what's going on here. What's going on? Mm, a new beginning. Spirit said that's what's going on. A brand new beginning. In your face. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Wow. Okay. Okay. Brand new beginning, guys. Spirit said you're going to do well with this person. Ten of Pentacles. This person wants everything with you. They want to build with you. They want life with you. They want to They want to have the comforts, the luxuries, whatever it is. They want to work hard, play hard with you, right? Ten of Pentacles. They want contracts. They want everything. And this person have made decisions. They have cut people out. They made... Um, they're standing on their word, right? Their word is their bond. They could be all up in their head, though. Or they leave somebody up in their head. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Clarify this eight of sword up, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. The Queen of Wands in the upright. They're all up in their head about you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. That's what that is. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Why are they all up in their head about us, right? Why are they all up in their head about you? Because they the devil. They just can't. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about you. Right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This person walked away from you before. Eight of Cups. Or are they walking away from somebody? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Clarify this Eight of Cups. Or you walked away from them. Clarify this Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody wants to come back. Right? Clarify this eight of cups in reverse. This person, whoever's trying to come back to you, is carrying a lot of burdens with them. Spirit, what's in that bag? What's in that bag of burdens? What's up in their head that, that they're dealing with? The high priestess came out, but I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it. Spirit, what's in that? Um, what are some of their worries? What are some of their burdens? What are they carrying? Let's see if it comes out again. Okay, Seven of Cups. That's what I figured. They have a lot of options, a lot of decisions. They have a lot on their plate. They have a lot on their plate. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What are some of these cups that this person is dealing with? What's in some of these cups, Spirit? It's like they're dealing with a lot. They have a lot on their plate. Three of Wands. It's like... It's like they're in a hurry for this, these ships to come in with you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify the Spirit of Wands here. Like, what is this Spirit? What's the big deal? He's kinging it. He's coming in as the King of Pentacles. Either that or this person was already in a connection. Like, they see you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Clarify this Three of Wands again, Spirit. Okay, there's a high priestess. They're following her. You're using her intuition, guys. It came out. It came out again. So this person is probably using her intuition in regards to, I guess, to what they want, right? Yep. They're not depressed or sad anymore. Something had your person sad. And they're not as so good as they're reversed, but they're not anymore. I hope it's going to be them sad. What had them, what were they sad down and out for? I don't know, but they're the magician now. They have everything that they need to move forward. This person wants to come in and work with you guys in Three of Pentacles. They think you'll work well together. This flipped out. Queen of Pentacles. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. They want this partnership with you guys. Two of Wands. They made a decision. Wow, these cards are just flopping. 
They're coming at a hermit. I guess in regards to you all's connection, maybe he's been quiet for a minute. But he's coming out. He sees victory with you guys. Six of Wands energy. And he's going to be strong. I guess coming forward, this person's going to be strong. To them, this is their dreams coming true. Yes. He's coming as, as the King of Swords, guys. This person is serious. Spirit said this one could be the one. They're worth waiting for, guys. They already see you as the Divine Feminine. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yeah, they see you as the Queen of Swords. There's a couple right there. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. They see victory with you. There's a couple, guys. They see you as a Divine Feminine, and he is coming in as King. Yeah, he sees you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This person's coming. And they want a union with you for a while. This person sees stability with you, guys. Mm. They see stability with you. I hope I didn't put my head in front of the camera. He's also coming in as the King of Cups, guys. Very loving, very supportive. Very understanding, right? That was a night before the reverse, but it was kind of sloppy, so I don't know. But we'll see if it was meant to come out. Y'all know those cards that flip. If they come out, they'll come out again if they're meant to be, which is crazy they do. Five of Swords. This person in reverse, they don't want to fight with you anymore. They're tired of fighting with this connection or something. I don't know, but they don't want to fight with you. Maybe y'all used to fight. Or he don't was a, he doesn't want to fight with whoever he was with before. He was the emperor reverse. He didn't have any control before. Yeah, seven swords in reverse. So he walked away from something. And he goes, I'm never going back to it. It's in reverse. So he's sneaking back to you. Because he didn't have any control where he was, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. So it's more about this Emperor in reverse. What, what went on there, Spirit? Mm -hmm. He left somebody to come back to you. Five of Pentacles in reverse. That's what went on there. Hold up. Mm. I can't get it, guys. All right, so this person is leaving somebody to come back to you, right? Like always. So you're currently dating this person. They could have already left this person. Yep, two of cups in reverse. Two of cups in reverse, and this person is moving on, and they're not a wise energy. They're coming in fast, guys. All right, they do have some obstacles in the way that they got to deal with. But this is your reading, guys. Somebody already sees you as a divine feminine. You're currently dating this person. Spirit said this one is the one. This one is the one. You are the king and queen of swords, guys. You're here together, the lovers, right? And he's walking away from a queen of cups in reverse, a very unloving person. All right, guys. So this is your reading. They see you as the divine feminine. You hear me? The spirit said this could be the one, guys. Worth waiting for. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.